Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Crab Clutch. Today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we are doing Chantel Toomey's idea, which is glow in the dark jellyfish. So we're going to give that a whirl. I have mixed my Easy Cast resin, and for the base layer, all we need to do is have one ounce. So I mixed my resin, and then I added just a little bit of pigment. Mixed that up, poured it into the mold, and I let it set for 12 hours. And once it was set, I decided I was going to paint jellyfish. And I was going to do that with glow-in-the-dark paint. Well, they didn't turn out very well. And we're going to do another version of a jelly coaster. And again, we're going to do the pigment powder. Mix it in real good. Pour it in. Hit it with the lighter. Let it cure. And we're going to just leave that be. The original jellyfish coaster didn't turn out quite as well as I'd hoped. So I have an alternative. I drew a jellyfish and I printed it out on transparency film right here. I don't know if you can see it. I did it yellow right there. I do have a new section on my website and it's in the store section and I have a bunch of images available there. So if you are interested, um, I know some places you have to subscribe to get images and stuff like that. Um, here you can buy one at a time or I have sets and stuff like that. So if you're at all interested, um, you can head over there to craftclutch.com and um, check those out. So I'm going to cut this out with my little circle cutter, which I love. And I always cut on the shiny side because on the matte side you might possibly scratch up some of the actual image. So I'm going to place this on here, cut it, and sometimes you got to go around two or three times, but you want to put a good amount of pressure on, on it so that you're able to cut it. Because this is obviously a lot easier to cut paper than it is to cut plastic. So I go around several times and I just put a fair amount of pressure on there. And then it comes out nice and clean like this. There are some scuff marks on this side which you can't even see, but you can't notice that um, when you put it in the resin. So don't worry about that if you get that. Now I work with a laser printer, but a lot of people have told me that the inkjet printers um, work just fine with the transparencies. So I'm going off of those people telling me that, and if you have any um, tips to include, be sure to add them in the comments below so other people can um, get some help. Now because this is supposed to be a glow-in-the-dark jellyfish, and because jellyfish do glow-in-the-dark, I am taking some glow-in-the-dark paint, I just bought it at the craft store, and in yellow, and I'm painting on the shiny side. And I'm painting just behind the jellyfish. Now I probably will do two coats. I'm not going to try to get it fully solid because jellyfish are not solid. And I will take a toothpick or you can use a very thin brush and just go along the legs. Okay, when you get that all finished, just let it dry. All right, this is set and our paint has dried on our jellyfish. So I want the paint side down. I have one ounce of Easy Cast. Pour it in. Take your lighter, pop bubbles. Take your transparency film and slide it right in. You don't want any air bubbles on there, so press it down. Once the air bubbles are out from underneath, take your lighter, pop the bubbles. And then you want to let it sit a minimum of 12 hours before you unmold it. So here it is, all set. And that's what it looks like. Now let's see what it looks like in the dark. So I hope you like the jellyfish coaster. And remember, if you want that image, um, I have it linked where um, you can get it in the description below. Or remember you can draw your own and, and create your own artwork to incorporate into these coasters. Now let's get to the fishbowl. Okay, here we go. Austin Harner Starbucks. So next week we're going to do a Starbucks coaster. So this next week we are not going to be picking from the fishbowl. In fact, we're going to do about a month where we're not. I'm going to be out of town for part of that and my schedule has been crazier um, than usual. So I'm going to work on some coasters um, that I would like to try and work on and some that I've been putting off. So don't worry, the fishbowl's coming back, but we're just going to put it on de delay for a while and um, I'm not going to miss a beat with another Coaster Friday or my Monday videos. So be sure to stay tuned 
and thank you guys so much for commenting and watching every week and sharing my videos and giving me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing. We'll see you next time. In the meantime, stay safe and happy crafting.